Businesses of Fall Creek are important to its history because they help people get their everyday needs. But they didn't just help people live a life, they helped people get together with friends and help them be a part of their community. People could work and get money. The money would help them afford food, shelter, and clothing. Stump opened his first hotel in 1873. He bought the building, which is now Chicken Chasers, and combined it into a hotel slash saloon until 1885. The purpose of the hotel is for fur lumber workers. If you went to a hospital to deliver a baby, it would be $25. Otherwise, you could have a doctor come to your house and deliver the baby. Doctors made house calls. People had babies at their house because they didn't want to drive all that way. It was cheaper, they wanted to expand, or there wasn't a need for it. For example, after cars were invented, there wasn't a need for a livery or horses anymore. In the 1960s, there were six saloons in Fall Creek. Saloons were a place where people could have fun with family and friends. Sometimes saloons could be opened on Sunday. Some of them had no rules. Bars couldn't be opened during elections. Saloons sometimes couldn't be opened on Sunday, and they had to close at 11 p.m. and open at 4 a.m. The first bank in Fall Creek was a state bank. It was constructed in 1903. There were two banks total in Fall Creek. Fall Creek's depression wasn't as bad as other big cities. Only one out of two banks failed. The State Bank of Fall Creek survived the Depression. Some people didn't have as many goods, but they still survived. On Thursday, Friday, and sometimes Saturday, parents would drop their kids off at a sit-in movie. They could eat ice cream and popcorn. In 1915, a 49-pound sack of marble flour was $1.70. Good breakfast coffee was 18 cents a pound. A car was $225 in the 1920s. It was $8,900 for a house. In 1932, it was 18 cents for a dozen of oranges. Summer sausage was 2 pounds for 27 cents. We decided to interview Yvonne Melvin, a previous business owner. So it was the watches and clocks. And then as it grew, when television came in, we sold televisions and that was very popular. Um, sold refrigerators, different electrical appliances and that sort of thing. I, I don't know what I'd say was the most popular, but I know when he began the gun business that really took off. We had a lot of customers. Well, I really enjoy dressing the front window. Um, there was a big front window, you've seen the pictures, and um, at Christmas time especially, I just enjoyed making it look Christmassy. And the library used to be a furniture store and used to be a house added on. Old Firehouse was also a village hall. Chicken Chasers was first a hotel. The lumber yard is where the credit union is. Where Chrissy's is now used to be a hardware store. The Mercantile used to be where the Unity Bank parking lot is now. Grandma D's was a motel. Fall Creek used to be where people would get their groceries and other items. Also, they would hang around town and not travel. Now we normally go to Eau Claire. Some people go to Eau Claire almost every single day. People worked in Fall Creek. They were farmers or they worked in a business. Now a lot of people work in Eau Claire or somewhere else.
it's hard to compete with the pricing of like big corporate businesses, big restaurants. A lot of people, you know, I mean, with now everybody's got a vehicle, you know, Claire is so close that they can just drive into Eau Claire and go get something to eat or do their grocery shopping. So it's a little bit harder for smaller businesses to um, thrive in small communities. Um, it took us a, almost a year to get our business up and running in the old location. In the past, the businesses of Fall Creek helped the community get what they needed. They also helped people get out of the house and socialize. Today, because there are so many businesses in Eau Claire, there aren't as many in Fall Creek, but the ones that we have are important to our community.